Yeah, I think you know that's just another example of just how incredible sport is, um, and and where in so many different parts of our lives, you know, sport can be so impactful. Um, so sport has been incredibly impactful on my life because, I mean, I got to compete in three different Olympic games and come home with gold medals. And you so. got to wear gold shoes. And I got to wear gold <laughs> shoes, which could have gone very wrong, by the way, if I'd gotten a silver or bronze. But um, as we know, it all worked out um, in the end. Um, Confidence. <laughs> um, <laughs> Ooh. A little bit of both, you know, <laughs> arrogance and confidence, right? You know, you gotta have a little arrogance, right? You know, in order to do this. Um, <laughs> um, but um, but yes, I mean, you mentioned, uh, uh, yeah, uh, 18 months ago, I had a stroke and, and found myself uh, unable to walk, and um, um, and uh, but I was fortunate to be able to come back from that and, and regain my mobility and, and get back to health. Um, and, um, and, and I feel confident that um, um, had it not been for my background as an athlete, being able to set new goals and attack those goals and being able to recognize those tiny marginal improvements every day that, you know, as sports people, that's, that's our lives. That's what we do. We're looking for these tiny little improvements every single day. Uh, so that we can be prepared when, you know, uh, when we get to the big stage and we get that opportunity to win a championship that we're ready. Um, this was a different type of situation, but the same sort of uh, um, approach was, was absolutely required for me. I needed to, in order to get back to walking, in order to get back to being the, my best, um, I needed to be my best every day in rehab, and uh, which is a very... It's not the most fun process, you know, but it's about um, it's about the discipline that you, you you learn as an athlete, and so that was certainly beneficial to me as well. So, you know, I think you know just with that um, you know situation that I you know experienced and how sport was able to help me, you know, uh, you know that's just one example. We've talked today about you know these young people and how they've benefited from sport. Um, and then, of course, you know, we're all sitting here as champions who, you know, benefited from sport. And sport, of course, brings so many fans, so much joy. Um, that in itself, all of those things just sort of represent how incredible and how powerful sport is. And that's why we all do what we do. You yourself are an inspiration to millions of people around the world. During that tough period, was you your own inspiration or you took inspiration for someone else to come out of that difficult period? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I think, you know, part of what we all do now, and certainly it's, it's sort of inherent in me now, is to use any platform that I have and any opportunity that I have to help others. And so um, having, you know, suffered a stroke and millions of people suffer strokes every year around the world, um, I've been able to use my experience and my ability to, you know, get back to my lifestyle that I previously enjoyed before the stroke. I've been able to get back to that to that through, um, you know, again, the lessons that I learned through sports. So I've shared my story and hope that it can be an inspiration to others who, um, who, who suffer strokes, that they can, you know, get back to, to, to a livelihood that they enjoyed before, but also uh, to use the platform to, you know, help people prevent strokes by allowing them to understand, you know, what to look out for and prevention measures as well.